Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video. This week I'm going to be showing you everything that my chef mom cooks for me here in Italy. If you're new here, my mom owns two restaurants and she's the best cook I know. She can make pretty much anything. And this video is going to be a very good example of what I grew up eating like. For example, we never eat at home even though we do have a kitchen. It's pretty much useless because we only use it to make tea every once in a while. And our fridge is just for snacks because we eat at the restaurant every single day and I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Right now I'm just waiting for my mom to get out of the house so we can go food shopping for the restaurant so without further ado let's begin this video and i hope you enjoy <laughs>
timone sul pesce io non lo eh, non lo metto mai libera adesso devo andare con il pesce come si lavora nel giorno hai tempo mostrato un bello intenso di fragola non ho il numero anzi forse sì 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 mi ha lasciato lì a me dopo che ha fatto la pizzeria il trovare mi sembra che si chiama Fabio quindi Happy Women's Day! Se non ti becca a me mai.
I present you a very Italian breakfast, pear juice and kinder fettalotte, which is this chocolate thingy with milk cream inside. the baby <laughs> Dacă e moale, nu. I'm going to check my PO box for the first time since I opened it. Eh? 
Fede ragazzi, ma dai dove andiamo a fare sapendo che è mio. E poi non mi chiedo che erano. Sono qua, Dorina, sono qua. Non c'è schifo, non è schifo. Sarà il migliore in assoluto per fare questo dolce. Dammi il cioccolato col bulo. Eh, se dico che te le ho chiesto ancora una settimana fa, ah, tu dovevi... Ah, 70... Today is such a beautiful day, it's super warm and I can officially say that spring is here. Hai messo sale? I kind of have to eat this in a rush because we're going to do a test drive at a dealership because I need to buy a car. Let me tell you this story because it all started with me being like, Dad, Mom, I need to buy a car because we're going to be traveling around Italy for a year and my car is very unreliable. It's a miracle. It still gets me places. I was like, my budget is 5,000 euros and I'm going to buy a used car. And the car I wanted to buy was a Fiat 500 because I think they're really cute and they're an Italian car so it would match the Italian vibe perfectly and so I started looking up used Fiat 500s online they're all like diesel or gas cars and my dad was like you're not gonna be able to go anywhere with a diesel or gas car because in Italy we have environmental restrictions so you can't go inside city centers with a diesel car or a gas car it has to be a hybrid an electric car or a GPL car and so my dad was like well your sister is gonna get her license in like a year and she's gonna need a car and so why don't we split and buy a new car and I'm like okay that's fine we can buy a hybrid so that I can actually go in city centers so we went to all these dealerships we started looking at Fiat 500 hybrids which are very cute I was obsessed with the Dolce Vita I had already had in mind that I was going to paint it pink 
I made a Photoshop prototype. I posted on Reddit for advice on how I can get it painted that color because you can't just request a specific color to Fiat. You would have to get it done privately and a lot of people suggested to wrap it. My post started a sexism fight. Everything was going according to plan. Like I had already made up my mind on the car that I wanted. But my dad is obsessed with the electric new Fiat that they've made. And he's saying that eventually they'll forbid hybrid cars to visit city centers as well. And nowadays it's more convenient to get an electric car, which I get. But for what I have to do, which is travel all around Italy, I feel like it would be very inconvenient because we would have to like stop constantly to charge the car. And especially in the south of Italy, there's very few charging stations, so I still don't know how it's gonna go. Si fanno le tre e mezza, anche tre e quaranta. Alle quattro deve essere là, alle cinque dobbiamo devi essere sul posto. Muoviti. Come è andata? Male. Perché? Perché voglio metterci una nota tutte le ragazze. Perché? Perché una ha fumato nel, nel spogliatoio e si è stretto da comprare anche noi la nota. Ma cosa c'entrate voi? Perché gli altri non hanno detto che cacchio è stato. Esto es la máquina.
Ma come fai a dire di no? Magna, donna, stai buona. We hired a new pizza guy and he looks like four big muscles and very long blonde hair. And Elisa has a crash on his head. <laughs> Che gioia, mamma mia. Martin. È tipo un pasticcio di sardine. Poi non l'abbiamo presa poi. Non li trovavo con gli occhi io. Ma tu non riesci a essere, 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 non riesci a essere
Io ho detto che la soluzione è trovare del cinema così. Domani mattina. Io ho visto. Allora, ormai cominciamo a dire le cose, no? Io ma non. Non ho fatto niente. Io? Io mi non ci metto. Sì, lui mangia male. Sento fare le robe di casa via, dai. Dai, tutte le pareti.
Ja. Ach. Wir kennen die Folge nicht, genau.